tomato surprise. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the lunchroom. Last time I ate this stuff, my gut was on fire for a week. It's like acid. Citric acid, actually, and a carbon base, electromagnetically heated to create a synthetic compound, which has some admirable qualities. You mean it's OK to eat? No, I mean, if you let it age, it can burn a hole in a concrete floor. It doesn't have too far to go right now. That's it. This time, they've gone too far. All these years, they've been feeding us fish sticks made out of cardboard, macaroni and cheese stuck together with paste. And now this. Well, I've had enough. I say it's time to go back there and find us the good food they've been keeping from us all along. TJ, you gotta be crazy. Maybe, but at least I'll be full. Now, who's with me? I'm in. I'm in. Be chill. Great. Then let's go get us some food. DJ Detweiler, we meet again. Let's look at a boy who seems to enjoy breaking school rules. A boy who scrawled crude chalk caricatures on Principal Prickly's door. And now this, pilfering food from the cafeteria kitchen. What do you suppose we should do with a boy this bad? Say... I have an idea. No recess. Why doesn't she just tear out his soul? <laughs> Miss Finster, Miss Finster, those girls over there said a bad word. Good boy, Randolph. Here's a cookie. <laughs> Hey, guys. How you holding out, buddy? Oh, you know, keeping busy. But there is one thing I'd like you guys to do for me. Well, what's that? Get me out of here! DJ, please! I'm going crazy in here, you guys. I've counted the ceiling tiles 13 times already. There's 1,678. You hear me? 1,678! Don't worry, TJ. We're with you, man. Yeah, no matter what happens, we're all in this together. Hey, what are you kids doing there? See ya. You guys! Poor TJ. He's really losing it in there. A kid without recess? It's too horrible for words. Well, I say we go in there and bust him out. An admirable suggestion, Spinelli, but based on my calculations, any attempt to rescue has a 70% likelihood of failure. Hey, I got an idea. Let's go ask the Guru Kid. Oh, great Guru Kid. Our friend has been thrown into detention, and we know not what to do. Consider the bumblebee. Alone, he is worth nothing. But with his fellow bees, he becomes a swarm and enjoys bountiful quantities of honey. What's that supposed to mean? Don't you see? We're the bee. We can't save TJ alone. But if we had help... Actually, he may have something there. If we were able to get all the other kids of the playground to help us, our likelihood of success increases 10 to 15 percent. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Thanks, Guru Kid. Oh, great, Guru Kid. How can I get an A on my spelling test? Consider the bumblebee. Alone, he's worth... So let me get this straight. You want me and Sam to dig under the lunchroom, break through the floor, and bust TJ out just so we can have recess? Um, yeah, that's about the size of it. Neat! <laughs> See, I told you these guys are good. Hey, Dave, you're digging the wrong way. What, are you crazy? That's how you get to the principal's office. Hey, who are you calling crazy? Stupid. Stupid? I'll show you, stupid! <laughs> Ow! Hey! They aren't gonna help us, are they? Not in a million years. Swing, 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 swing! I'm telling you, the swinger's always up for new adventure. She loves this kind of stuff. What's she doing now? Trying to go over the top of the swing set to boldly go where no kid has gone before. Great! Will she help us? Sure! 
as soon as she gets back from the nurse. I can't believe we're going to talk to kindergartners. It's humiliating. No one else will help us. I've been studying these primitive grades for some time now, and I think I can communicate with them. Follow me. Hello, kindergartners! We have come for the land of the big kids across the wide playground to ask your help. I'm gonna try the aluminum foil. Look, shiny metal. Do you like the shiny metal? If you help us, we'll give you the shiny metal. What do you say, kindergartners? Let's eat them. I'm scared. Bob's the king of the playground. If he helps, the other kids will follow. He better help or he's going to meet my good friend, Madam Fist. Listen, Spinelli, dealing with the kid of Bob's stature takes finesse, not brawn. So let me do the talking, okay? Oh, great King Bob, overseer of the playground, vizier of the jungle gym, we come to ask your royal favor. You see, my liege, our best friend TJ was caught by the finster, and we gotta bust him out. Hey, get that first grader off of my sand! Hey, hey, leave me alone. Uh, no. What I'm trying to say here, your highness, is that we can't do it alone. Yeah, we really, really need your help. You hear that? The fourth graders need my help. <laughs> <laughs> of course you need my help. Everyone needs my help. I'm the king. Great, so you'll help us? I didn't say that. You see, being king of the playground is a heavy responsibility. It is I who must make sure the first graders don't get too uppity. It is I who must make sure us sixth graders are treated with respect. I can't be helping every single kid with every single problem they bring to me. My royal mind is just too busy. You understand? Too busy! But your majesty... Enough! I've got better things to do than worry about some dumb kid. Some dumb kid? Who does he think he is calling TJ some dumb kid? Now, Spinelli, you promise. You sit there on your sixth grade butt, ruling over the playground like some sort of big shot. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Playground King. You're nothing but some dumb kid. Spinelli! Oh, uh, she didn't mean that, Your Highness. I'm afraid I have to concur with my violent friend. Gretchen! Well, I mean, technically, she is correct. Bob is dumb, and he is a kid. Yeah, and if you think about it, we're all just some dumb kid to somebody in this crazy mixed-up universe. My big brother thinks I'm some dumb kid. My mom called me some dumb kid just this morning. I'll bet even you've been called some dumb kid at some time or another, right, Mr. King Bob, sir? So next time you go around calling a guy some dumb kid, just remember this. You're one, too. And let's face it, Bob, if us dumb kids don't stand up for each other, who will? The girl's right. Kids of the playground! The dumb kid should be freed! Just the stuff. Tomato surprise. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. TJ, what are you doing out there? What are you guys doing in there? That's my question as well. But since you seem so eager to return to the classroom, You'll be happy to learn that recess will be over just about now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Well, TJ, we did our best. Yeah, sorry we didn't get to you in time. Hey, come on. You guys did something most kids wouldn't even try. You're the best friends a guy could ever have. Thanks, Tej. Actually, it was a relatively entertaining recess. Yeah. We had Upside Down Girl, the Swinger, the Diggers. Hey, 
Whatever happened to the diggers anyway? Okay, TJ, we're here. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't our school. Uh, Dave? Yeah? Do those kids look like kindergartners to you? Chippa! just won't grow. Hey, Lugnut, did you remember to put the seed in? Oops. Okay, everybody know the plan? We're with you, TJ. Good, then let's do it. Miss Grokey, Miss Grokey. Yes, Gretchen, do we have a problem with our assignment focusality? Oh, no, Miss Grokey, I'm quite clear on the basic postulate of light and no light, but I'm more interested in the effects of nitrogen-rich soil. Well, uh, gee, uh, I, I don't know. Or perhaps a richer fertilizer, like a nitrophosphorus blend. I've also heard a rumor about carbon 20 compounds and dicarbon Hey, that's very interesting properties. And of course, there's your baby milk. What does it make those plants from? India, Dr. Arvid What the? Recess already? I must be having trouble with my inner clock. Oh well, class dismissed. <laughs> Miss Grokey, Lieutenant Griswold, USMC, reporting to deploy my son. Deploy? Yes, ma'am. My boy Gustav has been assigned to your barracks. I mean, class. Any guy named Gustav is bound to be trouble. Well, we're always happy to welcome a new student to our circle of friends. Um, where is Gustav? Private, report. That's Gustav. Well, my duty here is done. Miss Grokey, boys and girls. Oh, well, welcome to our little classroom family, Gustav. Why don't you describe for us a bit of your personal journey? Well, my name is Gus. I've been to 12 schools in the past six years, and my only friend is a pet snake named Herbert. Uh, Miss Grokey? Yes, Willie? Can we go to recess now? Why, well, certainly. Yeah! Excuse me, but is that in kind of early for recess? Oh, no. It's part of our daily ritual. We always go to recess at 10. But it's... Come on, Gus! I'll show you around. Don't solar watches. I'm going to have to stop buying out of the whole planet catalog. Now over there is the jock section. They're basically harmless, but you could get a nasty wedgie if you catch them in a bad mood. Uh, TJ, can I speak to you in private? Sure. You guys introduce Gus to the bug-eating kid. We'll catch up. What are you doing? You know the rules. Y'all ain't supposed to talk to a kid like him for at least 48 hours. A kid like him? What do you mean a kid like him? You know, a new kid. Aw, uh, come on, Vince. I'm not gonna say anything. You're not gonna say anything. The rest of the class isn't gonna say anything. Who's gonna know? And way back over there is where they keep the kindergartners pinned up. You wouldn't want to go over there. I'll say. Last kid who wandered over there, they never saw him again. <laughs> it's all right. He might have just got transferred or something. No, it's not that. It's just I've been to 12 schools in six years, and nobody's ever been so nice to me before. It's so beautiful. <laughs> there, there, little guy. Things are different now. Yeah, here you'll always have friends. <gasps> Sixth graders! Who... Who's that? King Bob. He runs the place. Just act real humble. But whatever you do, don't say you're a... Halt! Who are you? Oh, uh, hey there, Bob, your majesty, sir. This is, uh, Gus Griswold. He's, uh, well, he's, uh, I'm a new kid. A new kid, eh? We haven't had a new kid around here lately. Where's the old new kid? Uh, here I am, your highness. New kid, you are no longer the new kid. From now on, you are, you are, uh... Morris P. Hingle. Right. You are Morris P. Hingle again. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Easy on the ring, huh? I got a name! I got a name! I'm not a nobody anymore! <laughs> Behold! We have a new new kid! From now on, he will be known as the new kid! 
Lucky New Kid and nothing else. <laughs> How bad can it be? Watch it, new kid. Move aside, new kid. Out of the way, new kid. Come on, new kid. I don't got all day. Taken. 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 But where am I supposed to sit? <sighs> Willie? Here. Megan? Here. New kid? <sighs> Here. Hmm. I'll take Petey. I'll take Phil. I'll take Dwayne. Okay, that's everybody. Uh, what about me? Huh? Oh, sorry, but according to the Constitution of the Playground, Section 3, Paragraph 2, under kickball. <clears throat> no new kids. People have gone through life without names, and they've done fine. Oh, yeah? Like who? Well, like the artist formerly known as Prince, the unknown soldier, the other four guys in the Jackson 5. Look, guys, I might as well face it. I'm nothing but a loser, a nobody, a kid with no name. Even my snake won't look me in the eye anymore. See you guys later, if I don't shrivel up and blow away first. Dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. You know, that kid is really starting to bug me. Hey, how would you feel if they took away your name? Yeah, rules and no rules. I sure wish we could help the guy. Hey, maybe we can help him. What are you talking about, TJ? Maybe we can give him back his name. I got some favors I can call in. Heck, a lot of kids would do it for nothing. Yes, sir, when we're through, he'll never be the new kid again. He'll be, he'll be, um, what was his name again? to little boy. Elvis has left the building. Roger, little boy standing by. Roger, lucky lady standing by. Roger, music man standing by. Roger already, let's get this show on the road. Okay, Operation Gustav is a go. Move, move, move. How's it going, Gus? Oh, uh, fine, you know. Hi, Gus. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day, eh, Gus? Up on the bus, Gus. Hey, Gus! Hiya, Gus! What's happening, Gus? Sit next to me, Gus! What's going on here? Going on? Why, nothing's going on, Gus. Right this way, Gus! than a new kid. Maybe I am somebody. Maybe I really do have a name. Sixth graders! <laughs> but, but, you guys all know me. Billy, Rachel, Therese. What about you guys? You know who I am, right? How can we know who you are if you don't even know who you are? New kid, I am not a new kid. I am a human being. Don't tell us. Tell him. Ooh. All right. I will. Gus. 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 Oh, hey, who's blocking the way down there? Oh, it's you, new kid. Move aside. Sorry, Bob. Not this time. What? You can't talk to me like that. Oh, yeah? Well, just watch me. All my life have been treated like a nobody, ignored by kids because they didn't know me, given the worst stuff because everybody else got their first, made to eat paste. And why? Just because I was the new kid. 
But then I come to this school, and for the first time in my life, a bunch of kids treat me like a friend. Then you came along and made me a nobody again. Would you listen here, Bob, who graduated and made you king? I am not a nobody. I am a somebody. I am Gus P. Griswold. You hear me, Gus P. Griswold! So, what's your point? Well, I want my name back. That's my point. Okay, you can have your name back. That's it? What do you want, a parade? You got your name back. Now get out of the way. You hear that? I got my name back. I'm not a nobody. I got a name. I got a name! It's not fair. He only had to be the new kid for a few days. I had to do it for three whole years. Hey, you should have said something.